Typically, when a Boeing commercial airplane, like this American Airlines 737-800, rolls out of the paint hangar, it's a good sign the plane's about to be delivered to the customer. But this isn't your typical airplane. This is the Eco Demonstrator. The Eco Demonstrator is a technology demonstrator that we're using to test cutting edge technologies that will hopefully reduce our carbon footprint, lower our fuel burn, lower our emissions, and also reduce our community noise impact. The Eco Demonstrator program is a partnership between Boeing and American Airlines. The airline is letting a number of Boeing teams temporarily outfit the plane with an array of experimental equipment all aimed at improving the environment. It's no longer a drawing, they have an actual part, and it's no longer a concept, their parts being installed on an airplane. Among the array of advanced equipment installed in Seattle and tested in Glasgow, Montana, is the adaptive trailing edges, small flap-like devices near the outer portion of the wings. It gives us additional lift at takeoff, so we can use that to either be quieter, we can do the takeoff with more weight, and then at cruise, the same device moves to a different position that will actually improve the performance during cruise and actually reduce drag so we can get better fuel burn. There's also the variable area fan nozzle, where the exhaust area of the engine casing can be changed to reduce noise and improve engine efficiency, and the regenerative fuel cell that provides an alternative source of power. Right now, all the electrical power comes from the engines and burning uh, carbon-based fuels. With this uh, system, we can make electricity for the airplane, and we use only potentially clean hydrogen and oxygen. And while the vast majority of this equipment could be years or even decades from becoming standard, it's the chance to be a part of the future of aviation that fuels these folks' passion. It really helps us to understand what we need to do to bring this technology forward in the future and make it work in an airplane. Trying to put together a system like this has been a real challenge, but it's really exciting.